Welcome back to the Shaver 556 channel. We got another real-time review! So we're gonna be some idiots tonight, so here you go. We got the Perrin's Carrot Cake Cream Ale. If it zooms in, there it is. What is it? 5%, I think. It is 5.8%. Hey, you can't see it, but whatever. It's a carrot cake. I like carrot cake. So let's, let's see if it actually lives up to the hype. Uh, how's it going, guys? Okay. <laughs> this. Oh my god. That's weird. What? Look at the color. Ooh. It's like red. Go ahead. I was going to pour it for you for some reason. Mm. Yes, a bartender to peas. It's like an amber. Orangey color. I guess. Doesn't taste, it doesn't smell like carrot cake at all. No, it doesn't. Ooh. I mean, what does it say on it? It says it's part of the Side Hustle series. Pour out a slice of sweet and creamy carrot cake. Blend with real carrots, pineapple, and lactose. Uh, pineapple. Carrot cake does not have pineapple on it. Uh, with a wide variety of specialty malts for a rich ca rich cake flavor and malty backbone. Pineapple. Uh, there's no pineapple in carrot cake, guys. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, anyways. I think that's probably going to be... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm done with that thing. I'm done. I mean, it kind of smells creamy. Too much? I smell the carrot now. Do you smell the carrot? Take the damn mustache off. You can't even smell anything with this stupid thing on. Put it on the put it on the beer. There you go. Ultimate warrior style. Um you put it upside down? Not really. I don't really smell the carrot. It's kinda it kinda just smells like a regular cream ale, honestly. Boy. <laughs> Okay, you got you got like the Irish on your chin. I got okay. It's not it's not sick to me. Got daddy's no, money on my chin. Daddy's money. All right, All right. ready? Cheers. Whoa! Whoa! That actually tastes like carrot cake. It's like carrot cake bread velvet. Wow. It's part of their side hustle series, that's what it says up top. Uh, I get like the frosting. I taste the carrot cake. Yeah, I taste the frosting. I taste carrot cake. I don't taste pineapple. You guys are on the west side of Michigan, if you can't see it, it's right there, lo located on Michigan. Uh, it's another Michigan beer. I paid two forty nine for a can. That's about all I can give you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't taste maybe they use the pineapple to get the sweetness of like carrot cake. But I don't taste the pine wow. Yeah, like you said, it's like red velvet carrot cake. Yeah. Which sounds like a really good combination, yeah. by the way. I love carrot cake. If you have the good frosting on carrot cake, mm -hmm. it's like the best ever. And this tastes like the good frosting. The worst thing cake. about it is usually like the cheaper brands of carrot cake are the best. <laughs> yeah. Because they're more sugary. I feel like I just dumped a whole fucking truckload of carrot cake in my mouth. Ale with carrots and lactose. Doesn't say lactose in this. It is filtered, which it's a weird color. Could, could you imagine what this would be like if it wasn't filtered? Sexy. It'd be delicious. This is still very good. Why would you filter this kind of beer? I don't know. That's what I was actually just thinking. I feel like I need a piece of carrot cake, dude. Now. That's so good. I taste the uh, cinnamon now. Yeah. I taste the cinnamon. The I more do. you drink it, the more it evolves. Yeah, I taste the cinnamon. I taste the frosting. 
and like you said, like red velvet. It tastes I like love cake. carrot cake, but I don't think I buy a six pack of this. And the, yeah, but but yeah. it does taste like carrot cake. It's worth a try. Hey, if you love sweets, then there you go. Like five point eight percent. What if this is double IPA and it was like this? <laughs> what if this is a, a double cream? Hell. <laughs> oh. See, I'm surprised by this. You can smell it too when you put it in your mouth. Big. You can smell the cinnamon. Yeah, now that you've had yeah, a couple sips it, of it. Yeah. Nutmeg. I, I forget. I think it's, it's probably nutmeg. There's also nuts in carrot cake too. I would. The, the walnuts. Oh, the thing is, dude, if this wasn't filtered, it would probably taste so much better. I want a piece of carrot cake. <laughs> I love carrot cake. It's a very underrated cake. Yes, it is. It's Just because. Great. Oh my god, I don't like cake. Cake or carrots. Carrots. I don't even taste taste the carrots in carrot cake. I'm you, sorry. You don't really. The frosting is what makes carrot cake. Yes. It's got the little carrot on top. Yeah. It's <laughs> fucking delicious. I've had carrot cake in so long. The white frosting. With this the brought little... me back though. The last time I had carrot cake, this brings me back. The last time I had carrot cake. The little orange carrot. There it is. Yeah. It goes on top of the carrot cake. See, I'm pleasantly surprised by that. That's. I'd shove an eight-inch carrot down my throat, you know. All right. Okay. Yeah. All the way to the uh, green part. <clears throat> pull it out with the green part. <laughs> <laughs> What happens if you pull that green part off? And then you you choke. Oh. You choke on the carrot. Right. Yeah. You know it gets bigger as it goes in. <laughs> what? These things are saying to me right now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I like that. There you go, stick something there. There you go. All right, I got my review. I basically taste every like portion of carrot cake in that. <clears throat> taste the cinnamon. Taste the frosting, definitely. Yeah. Uh, you said red velvet, and yes, it does taste cakey. I just, I, it's, it's actually very good. The thing is, I just really wish it wasn't filtered. I really wish it was just carrot cake. Just straight up carrot cake. Oh, I mean, just carrot pour, cake. pour out some carrot cake and blast. That'd, that'd be awesome. Suck it out with a straw. Then I put carrot cake in the batter or in the uh, the tanks just, to ferment it in. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. The thing is, it says it's brewed with pineapple. I don't taste pineapple at all. No. That's the weirdest thing. But that's the thing that I thought was going to be like. I thought it was going to be bad because it's all for a flavored beer. It is really good. Yeah. Um, most flavored beers, they don't really taste like what they say. Yeah. I would say this uh, is probably, in my opinion, one of the best uh, cream 100% nailed it. it. Yeah, nailed it. Uh, and out of all things, though, carrot cake is a niche yeah. kind of cake. Uh, I don't think I'd buy a four-pack or six-pack, whatever these come in. But it is good. And there's my dog. What's up, bud? Smell? Mm. <laughs> you don't know what carrot cake is. He's only seven months old. And he's 110 pounds. This is a whole great day. There he is. He's a big boy. Uh, um, but yeah, it's it's a good flavored beer. Um, they're hard to come by nowadays. Yeah. Most of the time they don't even taste like what they say. Yeah. Um, I would drink it again. Oh, wow. That's really good. Three, two, one, seven Eight. and a half. So on a scale of one to ten of flavored beers, I'd probably give it like a nine and a half. Yeah, it's so, really good. I mean, flavored beers are hard to come by because half the time they don't even taste like what they say. Um, raspberry ones are just way too damn tart half the time. Yeah. Uh, strawberry, strawberry ones. Strawberry ones never taste like strawberry. Strawberry is always artificial. Like no, but like yeah, literally strawberry ones. You have to have artificial flavoring to make, actually make them taste like what the, what you think they taste like. The only things that really taste like anything are like the citrus flavored ice. Pineapple IPAs. or pineapple, yeah. Uh, lemon, lime. Yeah, the, those cut through very easily. Things that actually be... can last in a fermenter. Yeah. Uh, strawberry will not last in a no. fermenter. Uh, so I mean, I don't know if this is artificially flavored, but 
even if it is that's blend, blended with on. real carrots, pineapple, and lactose. So, I mean, it says it's there. If it was unfiltered. Maybe carrots in the new front runner of beers. You never yeah. know. If it was unfiltered, though, this would probably be a nine or a nine and a half, in my opinion. But, yeah. I think it was a double IPA and be knocking out of this. Out of the park. Oh, it would be out of this world. <laughs> like, subscribe, share my channel, guys, and see Instagram and Chamber Five Five Six. We got Tommy the Thompson Forty Five at Instagram. He has a Twitch, Twitch, and YouTube, Google, Google Plus. But who goes to that anymore? Hey, so sh make sure you share this to your grandma on Google Plus before yes. Google Plus gets oh, shut and down. And Twitter too. We're on Twitter. And Twitter. Both of us. And Chamber Five Five Six. And this is Tommy the Thompson Forty Five. Have a good night, guys. Bye.